Dan? What? I was down the stock exchange buying stuff and someone said you were dead. And then I couldn't buy as much stuff. Do I look like the dead boy? Do I bloody look like the bloody dead? Do I bloody do I want? No, Dan, I've never seen the dead. You saw Ray Martin when he threatened to go to seven, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. There are two things you need to know about the dead boy. They can't move and they can't talk. What about zombies, Dad? Zombies can move and they're dead. Maybe you're a zombie walking the earth and buying stuff. <laughs> I'm talking, boy. Zombies can't bloody talk. They're only a zombie if they're moving and not talking. What does it mean if they can talk? but can't move. They've signed a contract with Channel 9. <laughs> I love this country, and I want this country to be great, but it isn't. It's a slow country. It's a weak country. We've been losers for too long, and it's time to do something about it. We can be winners, people. We can be better, stronger, faster. And there's a very simple way to achieve it. Drugs. <laughs> As we curse the rest of the world for their heinous, criminal, unsportsmanlike behaviour in taking performance-enhancing drugs, I want to see all our athletes weighing big, meaty chunks of testosterone into a cup. <laughs> Samantha Riley. Who cares if she's popped 57 codril washed down with a bottle of Benadryl expectorant? If it means gold, gold, gold for Australia. <laughs> and Scotty Miller. Does his enjoyment of the occasional jazz cigarette matter? if he gets halfway down the pool before the race actually starts. <laughs> More power to him. Eckhart Arbeit. So he manufactured East German female swimmers with scrotums the size of house bricks. <laughs> well, so what if they were one, two, three on the podium? <laughs> we should be embracing this wonderful opportunity, but no, no. They even want to test the Australian cricket team. Well, get over it. From what we know of their habits, Shane Warne's drug of choice is a Mars bar pizza. <laughs> and just this week, Newcastle Rugby League stars Robbie O'Davis and Wayne Richards were suspended for 22 weeks for taking steroids. 22 weeks! This ban is wrong. It's unfair to give a player more weeks suspension than he can count up to. <laughs> now, 20 would have been all right, you know, if he took his shoes and socks off. <laughs> but 22 is just plain cruel. O'Davis says he didn't consider himself a drugs cheat. It was a complete surprise when he woke up one morning and found the steroid fairy had turned him into a great hulking monster. <laughs> With the loss of two key players, Newcastle will need to speed up their back line. I hear Dean Capabianco is free. <laughs> the steroid abuse has been an integral part of sport forever. We've always had athletes who are built like brick shithouses without the building approval. And... <laughs> I mean, it's so hard to know what's safe and, and what isn't these days when there's even a banned substance in some breakfast cereals. And really, how are athletes expected to know there's something dodgy in deliciously enhancing steroid pops now with new non-testicle shrinking formula? <laughs> how would they know that? Well, there's no... I, I couldn't agree with you more, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Mikey Robbins! <laughs> We've gotten really namby pamby about drugs. Like when I was playing under eights, like under eights, front row forward for the game. There they'd be shoveling the steroids. Shoveling the steroids Sho in. Sho shoveling, not shoving. Shoveling, shoveling the, the steroids, steroids in. in. Just to just bulk up a bit. Well, it certainly helped you, Hester. <laughs> When's it going to stop working? I mean, I can't make out. I'm an athlete. I was a sportsman. He's a sportsman. Look at that. He's a sportsman, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Sportsman. No, I think what we've got in this country, we've got the year 2000 coming up. We've got two great things in this country. Great scientists and great athletes. CSIRO. Let's bring the two together. <laughs> you know, if we want to go for gold, the only problem is rigorous drug tests. So what I'm calling on is for every patriotic Australian to do their duty. 
Exactly. You know what you mean? We're going to need something very special from all of you for our athletes. Oh, what's your body like, mate? My body's a temple. <laughs> Dark and seldom visited. <laughs> ah, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Ah, what about you? I'm clean and I'm full. Well, shall we do the right thing by Australia? <laughs> Let's go for gold. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. We want red-blooded, sports-loving Australians everywhere to drink your bath water, suck your garden hoses dry, and then using your body as your tool, fill up empty Vegemite jars with clean specimens and mail them directly to that inspirational sports administrator, Arthur Tunstall. <laughs> Come the year 2000 Olympics, we'll piss it in. <laughs> Tell me there's some deep desire we share. When all you got's 